<laughs> what the? Wow, they actually made this. Lord, we thank you for bringing Heidi and Daniel together in marriage. We praise you for the way in which you have brought them to yourself and to each other by giving them the grace to enter into this holy covenant. Be with them as they become one, two souls united together in your love and in commitment to you and each other. Lord, we bless you this day and pray all this in Jesus' precious and holy name, amen. As both of you have thought, you were writing your own story this whole time. It's just a part of the biblical story of God rescuing us from sin. If someone told me back in 2016 that I'm going to be standing here with this guy who leeched Hello. off all of my math homework, I would be appalled. But our God is a good God. He transformed not just your math grades, but also our friendship and relationship. I'm so amazed at God's kindness and faithfulness in how He has and will continue working in our lives. So I promise when I'm met with my incompetence, my inadequacy, I will lean towards Christ instead of leaning towards my self-reliance. And as I see God's work in your life and mine, I am met with this overwhelming goodness of God. I remember when Bijang first told his friends that he was going to marry Heidi, he would like ask the best man and I to come aside like in a really serious tone of like, hey, can we talk? And I would get really emotional and start tuning up like, oh my gosh, it's happening. My friends are getting married. And then he would always be like, do you guys want to get all you can eat sushi? Or like something like that. And so I'm, yeah, I'm so excited to be here. I remember I was in this club meeting and um, DJ calls me. So I pick up the phone and you say, I'm outside. And I go outside and you stop me and you're like, hey, I think I want to marry Heidi. But we're sitting here, like we're talking about where, uh, where your relationship is at, where you guys, where you wanted it to be, like how, what what it would take to get there, what steps you needed to take, and we have this whole conversation about that, what it would look like to to get to marry Heidi. I think in that moment it was kind of like the little beginnings of something, and um, it's really crazy to to be here, like you know, almost three years later, and we're at this you know this big wedding. Um, so it's been really incredible to see how it's played out, how it's kind of come together. I'm so hopeful and excited in this marriage, not because of how good I am or how much I can do, but because Christ uh, died on the cross for us. The Bible teaches that marriage is to be a permanent relationship of one man and one woman, freely and totally committed to each other as companions for life. Our Lord declared that man shall leave his father and mother and unite with his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. Daniel Zhang, you may now kiss your bride. As we go into marriage, another verse that's etched in my mind is Proverbs 27, 17. As iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. In the decades to come, we will butt heads and there will be tension. <laughs> like when two blades are being rubbed against each other. But I know God is with and in us. As long as we fix our eyes on Him and commit to this covenant, He will use each situation to sharpen us. So I, BB, choose you, BB, to be my wife. I can't wait for a journey to start.
I promise to destroy any spiders that dare to come near you. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Instead of laughing, everyone's hearing this. Everyone's hearing this. <laughs> Instead of laughing at you as you scream at them, <laughs> although um, for cockroaches, I think you're on your own. <laughs> just kidding. We will conquer the cockroaches together, just like how we will conquer different challenges in life when times get tough. <laughs>